Hello, I'm Kathy Stepanski, and now I'm going to demonstrate locking from below to promote more efficient and effective mobilizations and manipulations. Again, um, this was first demonstrated to me by Earl Pepper. Okay, so when you're going to do your setup, you always again want to have your patient close to you. You place your fist down here and have them move right up close to you. And then when I want to encourage extension, I'm going to go ahead and place this upper arm in a position that will encourage either extension or flexion. So that'll just be placed in those positions for, for me. Now, when I'm going to do the setup from below, I separate it into the three components. I'll incorporate first the flexion or extension component, and then I'll add in the rotation component by rotating the pelvis, and then there's a relative opposite rotation of the trunk, and then the final phase will be setting up the leg to encourage the side bending. So if we're going to do a, a, an extension setup, then I'm going to start by just placing the patient's spine into extension at that level that I want to lock through, okay? If I want to do a flexion setup, I'll flex up to the level that I want to lock through, okay? So if I want to add the rotation component, I'm just going to play with this pelvis to pull it towards me, which will create that left rotation. Again, the rotation is always going to be the constant. So by pulling, just the amount of rotation of this pelvis will gauge how far in, up into the segment that I want to lock through. Okay. For the side bending component of it, I'm going to utilize either the lower leg by having the patient kick down the table, and, and that would create an ipsilateral or side bending to the right, or sorry, left. And then if I'm going to have, want to do side bending to the right into the table, then I'm going to use the top leg to uh, place them into that side bending. So that's breaking it down into the three separate things. So what we will do is now demonstrate an extension ipsilateral lock from below. So first of all, I'm going to place them into extension. Go ahead and straighten your bottom leg just a little bit, just to kind of be balanced on the table. So before we do the leg pull down there, now we're going to incorporate this rotation component through the pelvis, which is then a left rotation of her trunk. Okay, and I'll keep her log rolled towards me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have her kick her leg right down the table, which then, as you can see, creates a left side bending. So I've got left rotation and left side bending in extension. So an ipsilateral lock from below. And that creates a nice lever so that then I can do whatever I need to do above that. Okay? All right, so I'm going to do that. Now if I want to do a contralateral lock from below in extension, then I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the extension into the segment. Then I'm going to go ahead and rotate her here. And now we'll go ahead and straighten the top leg down the table to create the side bending to the right. So I've got extension, rotation to the left, and side bending to the right. A contralateral extension lock from below. Okay, so it's a nice little setup. Now, when you're going to go do your actual mobilization or manipulation, you'll, you'll then take that away to give her a little more stability to then give you that ability to, to create your mobilization and she won't feel like she's falling off the table in any way. You just don't want to lose that side bending and extension component once you change that leg. Okay? So now, undo all this again. And to do a flexion setup, ipsilateral or contralateral, then I'm just going to do all of those exact things except the patient's lumbar spine will start out in flexion, okay? So flexion, rotate the pelvis toward me to get right to the segment that I want. Go ahead and straighten the bottom leg and try not to lose the flexion there. Okay, and then, so I've got flexion, 
rotation to the left and side bending to the left in this setup. Okay, then undo this. And then finally for a contralateral flexion lock from below, then I'm going to again flex up into the segment, rotate down into the segment through the pelvis. Now I'm going to take the top leg, push it down the table, and I've got my rotation to the left, side bending to the right in flexion, a contralateral flexion lock. And again, I can play with having her just bend her leg on there so that she feels stable when I go in to do my mobilization and move. 